Nobody got him son! Nobody got him! Black trans lives matter! 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 All genders, sexualities, religions, ethnicities, these black lives matter! We cannot pick and choose which black lives we value! Stand up for your trans and gender non-conforming black family! Black trans lives matter! You can actually make it Black lives matter! I truly will say this, that this, whole, this entire Black Lives Matter movement, this entire protest, the Black Lives Matter protest, the whole thing is just trendy. And you know what? I am insulted by this entire thing. It's an insult to me. And it should be an insult to any thinking black man or woman. This is an insult. And I know right now, just because I've said those words, a lot of black people right now are probably going to be at enmity against me. Here's the thing, the entire thing was being spearheaded at the very forefront of this entire movement is the LGBT movement. You didn't think about that, huh? They are at the forefront of all of this. And you know what? The whole protest, they spoke, in fact, and also, and also make note, it is being spearheaded as well, next to the LGBT, next to that, are, is the feminist movement as well they had to bring their powerful women pastors and you know what all they did was simply just rally the people up they just stirred them up the pastor was supposed to go pray not a single prayer all the pastor just came to do was stir up the people and they have drums and stuff the entire atmosphere of the place everything the whole thing seemed like an atmosphere that would stir you into basically being into a state of trance. Everybody that was there, I can see people, people who are supposed to be Adventist Christians, people who are claiming to hold to the word. They are chanting the chants that would make the LGBT proud. They are jumping on board. And I found it very interesting. Now, I want you guys to understand, I am not speaking hatred towards anyone. I'm just here to examine and break down this, this entire thing. Let's go to the website of the Black Lives Matter. Actually, you know what? Let's hold off. I'm going to play some of this clip for you. Let's watch some of these clips and we're going to talk about it. And then I'm going to show you from the website of the Black Lives Matter movement itself. And I'm going to share with you exactly what the agenda is. Because that's something that I noticed. Is that they, this entire thing was not even about black lives. No. As a right to take another man's life. For Jesus died. He already died. He already died. He already shed his blood. Nobody needs to die. Love. It's time to get rid of the hatred. It's time to get rid of the anger. It's time to forgive. So that we can go forward. So that we can move forward. So that we can bring the world on their knees. It's time somebody shout love. It's time to love! It's time to love! It's time to love! 
you start to love. I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're a Buddhist. I don't care which race you belong. But you need to show love to everybody. Somebody shall love. They don't know what they are doing. If they knew it, they won't kill George Floyd. But they killed him anyways. So that this could happen. So that this can come to an end. So that racism can come to an end. It's time to shut it down. It's time to shut it down. It's time to shut it down. Somebody shout it yeah! My name is Amy, and I am a trans black Somali drag queen here in Edmonton. One of the very, very few of us that are here. Yeah! The discrimination that I have faced for not only being a queer and trans person, but on top of that being a black person in this city, in this country, is disgusting. Disgusting. We need to start having conversations about all the different walks of life that come with black people. That includes trans black people. That includes queer black people. That includes the black people who are disabled. This I have had so many different people, especially people with Black Lives Matter in their Instagram bio or their profile picture who are sending me death threats because I'm trans and queer. You, when you, when you do not include all black people, I hope you know that you are part of the problem. You are the problem that we are trying to fix. And I encourage everyone in the queer community and the black community to finally stick up for us, to stick up to, for the trans black women who have died, for the countless tra black queer people who have been murdered in Canada too. Two days ago, a trans woman was beaten up. Five days ago, a trans black man was murdered. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about all black people. into moving vehicles. Yeah. You want to make it happen? Yeah. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. We have representatives from the LGBTQIA+. What I found interesting is that this entire thing is trendy and people were doing it because other people were doing it in their cities. People were doing it because it's a movement and people, hey, young people are going there, old people are going there, hey, everybody's going there, everybody's honking. I'm going in it too. I'm gonna be a part of all of this. It's a, tr it's a trend. Protesting has become a trend. It began from Minneapolis and started moving like, like wildfire. And you know what? There are so many things that are questionable. I found it very interesting and I found it actually it was foolish of the, the, the mayor of Minneapolis to go in the midst of the crowd with no protection, no security. He goes there and he bows down and he balls his, his, his eyes out crying and everything. What do you expect when you go to a crowd of, like, of, of an angry mob? You know, this is even the evidence that the Spirit of God is just holding back the people. Because the people look like they were about to rip this guy up into pieces. They ask him a question. Are you going to defund the police? He said, no, I can't do that. Then what did they do? They started booing him and chasing him out from there. The man walked like a coward. He, looked, he walked like a dog with his tail right between his legs. Moving like a coward. This, my friends, is the spirit of anarchy. That's what we are seeing right now. The spirit of rebellion. No order. The people are now trying. They just, they just after causing, they're just more about causing chaos. And all of this is organized. This entire thing is a setup. If you go into this protest and you're like, yeah, Black Lives Matter. And then you post that on your, on your following. People are going to think, man, it's okay for me to go protest. I mean, my leaders are doing it. I might as well go do it too. That's what it does. And you know what? 
This protest is contagious. Why? Because a lot of people are jumping on board and they're just moving along with this. They're, hey, we're protesting. All right, man, I'm going there to smoke a blunt. And in fact, speak, speaking of smoking blunt, that's what people were doing. The whole place was smelling like marijuana. It's a place of, of, of lawlessness. Women dressed up like harlots. Boys dressed up like, like, like hoodlums. Walking around like, 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 like a bunch of lost souls. In fact, they are lost souls when they're walking like that. I'm not condemning anybody. But I'm just saying that this is not a place for anyone to go to, to even take their children to. And there are people who went there with their children. You're taking your children to a place like that? No. I didn't take my child. I wouldn't go over there. No. You see, ladies and gentlemen, it seemed as if people were being stirred more to now turn against one another and old wounds are being opened while they're talking about closing that wound. While they're talking about healing, they're also talking about or, or sending a message that actually when you pay close attention to the message, the message actually leads to a division. Look at this. If you go to the Black Lives Matter website, it says we are guided by the fact that all blacks, black lives matter regardless of actual or perceived sexual identity first thing sexual identity gender identity gender expression economic status ability disability religious beliefs or disbeliefs immigration status or location we make space for transgender brothers and sisters to participate and lead we are self-reflexive and do the work required to dismantle cisgender privilege and uplift black trans folks, especially black trans women who continue to be disproportionately impacted by trans antagonistic violence. We build a space that affirms black women and is free from sexism, misogyny, and environments in which men are centered. So right away, you know this is pro-women and not pro-men, period. Women are the ones leading it. Women are the ones leading it. Then it goes on to say, We practice empathy. We engage comrades with the intent to learn about and connect with their context. We make our spaces family-friendly and enable parents to fully participate with their children. We dismantle the patriarchal practice that requires mothers to work double shifts so that they can mother in private even as they participate in public justice work. Now listen to this. We disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and quote-unquote villages that collectively care for one another, especially our children, to the degree that mothers, parents, and children are comfortable. We foster a queer affirming network. When we gather, we do so with the intention of freeing ourselves from the tight grip of heteronormative thinking, or rather the belief that all in the world are heterosexual unless he or she or they disclose otherwise. This which I have just read for you, my friends, this is simply what the Black Lives Matter believe. Why? Because that's what it says under the section or headline of what we believe. In their website, that's what they believe. You know who is spearheading this. Do not say that the LGBTQ is practicing a false, uh, 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 is practicing something that you are against, yet you are going to support. Look at this. Think, think. Do you see how clever the devil is? Satan is very clever. He has given to you many different ways. All right. You say that you don't agree with, uh, you say you don't agree with the LGBT. All right. 
Black Lives Matter. Oh yeah, you agree with that? All right, go ahead. Go chant Black Lives Matter. What are you really supporting? Well, you are supporting the same organization. You are supporting the same nonprofit organization. They are one and the same. They're connected. In other words, it's just simply a different mask. Same movement, different mask. You get it? It's the same movement, same nonprofit organization, just with a different name. But this time, they've attached black to it. That's all it is. Because guess what? A lot of black people, they would speak harshly against, like, you know, their lifestyle of men with men and women with women. Well, they did before in time past. And the black community tends to be more religious as well. So now you've got the right, the right piece of the puzzle that can get them to accept Black Lives Matter. They're going to say, yes, I support Black Lives Matter. You're supporting the organization. When you support the organization of the Black Lives Matter, guess what? You support what they believe. There's no getting away, or there's no getting around it. You support what they believe. And they are for the destruction of the families that were, the, the family that was ordained by God, they are against it. This video is going to get deleted from YouTube. Guys, this video is going to be deleted from YouTube. I'm just going to put this out there. It's going to be deleted from YouTube. It's not going to be, it's not going to last here for long. Look, I'm just putting this out there for you guys. If you believe in the Black Lives Matter movement, do you know what else you also believe in? You believe in what the Black Lives Matter believe. You believe when, when you accept them, when you accept this movement, before you jump into any movement, you better make sure you understand exactly who you are supporting. Better make sure you understand because your enemy, look at this law. There's, a, there's something that says you, 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 you keep, keep your friends close. Right? Or uh, I don't remember the, the phrase, but I think it goes like this. Keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. You get it. The devil is very clever. He got you to simply compromise your own belief by coming to accept an organization that was ordained by him. The entire thing is, even though they will bring your feminist preachers, they will bring these women preachers who are just simply none other than Nothing else other than motivational speakers. They will stir up the masses. They will stir you up. That's right. They will stir up the masses. The people were being stirred up at the rally. And once they got stirred up, what, what happened? They were, it's like, it's like a spirit of trance there. And they got people to bow down. People are bowing down. They prayed not a single prayer. All they just simply came to do was pump the people up. That's it. And they mentioned Jesus. And how did they do it? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, Jesus, sir. Oh, uh, uh. My friends, when you are, so be very careful before you jump into any type of organization. If you're going to support Black Lives Matter, that means that you support what Black Lives Matter believes. And what do they believe? They believe that the family that was ordained by God that family is out the window. They're not for that family. Everything that the Bible teaches, they are against it. But they're doing this in the name of peace. They're doing this in the name of unity. They are simply building back Babylon. They are building back the Tower of Babel. That's what they're doing. And by building the Tower of Babel, what are they doing? They are openly rebelling against heaven, which means now God Almighty must step in and confound them once again. But this time he is bringing the destruction of Babylon. Jesus Christ is coming. My king is coming. The question is on whose side of the spiritual grounds do you stand on? You have to be careful about what you support. Make sure you study them and you look at it first. Because guess what? A lot of people are going to be lost because they, they supported something. And they went so far with it to the point where at the end, the true characters of this organization will be revealed and they're going to say, hey, but we thought you'd be, oh, you, you've been with us. You've been with us all along. You're with us. Like, why are you turning your back? How are you going to say no to us? Many people are going to be peer pressured to support, to stay. And guess what? 
the laws are becoming much more stringent. Now expect the Sabbath movements to start coming in and they're going to say, we need to give the earth a rest. There's a Sabbath movement. Did you know that? I'll talk about that in the next video. My friends, a national Sunday law is coming. We are about to see worldwide religion. It's coming. It's all a part of the new world order. This is not a joke. You can take it as a joke if you want, but guess what? It doesn't change the fact that history repeats itself. History repeats itself. Time is running out. Do you want to still remain foolish? Do you want to still continue sleeping? Do you want to slumber? Or do you want to be awake? The choice is up to you. My friends, this is the Controversy 7. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep you for long. Please be, be, be sure, yes. Be sure to go to my website, www.thecontroversy7.ca and make sure that you, sub you subscribe, join the mailing list, subscribe to, the to, to my website. I'm going to start posting things on my website and I'm going to do a whole new cleanup. I'm going to do a, 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 a um, I'm going to fix up the website and I'm going to use it more aggressively. So please make sure you go there and we are going to continue our conversations on my website. All right. So make sure you go to my website. The link will be in the description box and also pinned in the comment section. Be sure to go there and join me on my website. We got a lot to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Controversy 7. You take good care of yourselves. Be blessed, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.